This is Sound Off 60, Southwest Louisiana's premier sports show. Sound Off 60 is presented by Merchants and Farmers Bank, where your future is our history. Also presented by Walk-Ons Bistro and Bar, home of Sound Off 60. Here are the guys, Rick, Scooter, and Kevin. Well, in the two months of no live sports, gosh, but it's starting to trickle back it to is. life. Where? Slowly. Well, I'm not talking about the not South Korean bad, baseball league. <laughs> it's being talked about more. Let's say that. Well, okay. You, you got this weekend. You got NASCAR. Yeah, but with no fans. But NASCAR is okay. Who's going to be that? You know, you're just yeah, talking you about the pit the people. The crowd. The, yeah. But the pit people would be the only. Well, they're going to be in danger. Well, they they're going to be there. They have to change their own tires. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, let's not. <laughs> that's that's really that would be a okay? We'll okay, see how good those guys are now. That's what you're in what for, we'll this kind of goofiness about that's NASCAR we'll racing. We'll that the got to get, the racers got to get out of the car to change yeah, their the tires. Fans. That's Hobbs' contribution. Yeah. Gidry on the far end in, whoa, is that, that uh, would be somewhat new or nostalgic. Yes, it would be. I'm looking at that color. No, no, I'm looking at you. Oh, really? Is that the nostalgic Bronco Yeah, it is. It is, you know. All right, just checking. Yeah. In his uh, former team colors. Uh, yeah. Hobbs yeah, in the middle. want to do something different. Uh, nothing. Hobbs in the middle. Uh, I don't know. Spring Hill, Houghton, Bossier City football look, team. I don't know. Look like he's been playing golf, if you I, ask I me. I think okay? you're right about That's that. That's what it looks like. That would be Hobbs in the middle. It is a here. little bright. But funny. I love that color. I'll tell you a funny story about Very this bright. shirt I love that real color. quick. Go ahead. The LSU Texas game, mm -hmm. football game in Austin this year, yeah. I happen to be wearing this shirt. Oh, God help okay. you. Jesus. Go ahead. I'm walking from the parking lot to the press box. Well, I didn't know this, obviously, when I got dressed for the game, mm -hmm. but like all the stadium workers at uh, Texas wear Stadium that color? wear kind of this color. I got stopped 15 times. Can you tell me where gate <laughs> seven is? Yeah. Or, Where's gate eight? You, you know what? Some peanuts you know? and cotton now, candy, you know what? sir. <laughs> that might not be a bad idea if you uh, didn't get a ticket. Hey, hey let me stop. Way to let get me, in. Let me, let me go stop. There. Okay, let me you can stop. tell that Scooter Hobbs dresses himself. Yes, he does. You can tell that. All right, uh, we're with you for like the next 30 show. or 60 minutes, depending on which one of the fine television yes. shows that we bring to you on uh, either CBS, Lake Charles, or Suddenlink Cable Channel 4 throughout the week. And by the way, you, we are now have a digital presence. We're on YouTube. We do. You can access our YouTube broadcast later in the week through CBSLakeCharles.com TV. We're the getting big time now. Lake you know Charles. that. You go on there, hit the right tab, and they'll take you to YouTube. We're getting big time now. you can now. watch it anywhere in the world, so pass that hey, along. Right? That's a good thing, man. Anywhere Everybody can look at it All now. All right, a special guest coming to the table later on in the hour-long version of the show, former Yankees, Cubs, and McNeese Cowboy pitcher yes. Ray Fontenot will be here. Wow. Look, talk about a myriad of things because baseball's still not playing. It's we not. want we want to go down Bruce Springsteen glory days a little bit yeah. with Ray because we're friends with Ray and we'll have a lot of fun with but that. But the thing it? I like about having Ray on, Ray's gonna tell you just like it is. He's not gonna sugarcoat it. No, That's what I'm excited that. about here. I don't here, believe okay? that to be the case either. Uh, we'll get into his thoughts in regards to yes. baseball. How do you bring it back from yeah. a player perspective? Uh, and of course, we'll get into the long forgotten. Houston Astros cheating scandal. No, we won't forget these it. These guys have really <laughs> caught, a, caught a break with the they pandemic. Did they ever? Uh, from a pitcher point of view, a former major leaguer himself. So that's coming up, going to have a lot of fun. All right, uh, big news from, we, we talked about it last week. The NFL released the schedules. They do. Uh -huh. And they, of course, the Saints were involved. What a home slate and yes. what a way to open up. Yes. Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Bucks. In the dome. In the dome. September 13th to open the year. In the dome. Two times, baby. They played two times. Of they course they did. In the division. And they come to the Saints, baby. All um, right. So they open up with Brady and Brady and Breeze. Yeah. Two of the statistical leaders. That's, you know, have, have you, I, I guess it has happened, two guys of that statue, Scooter and Rick, have we had anybody in comparisons to them that's met up back-to-back? Oh. What do you mean back to back? To play each other. Oh, I mean, many I mean, times. Him, but I'm, but I'm saying many times. To, I'm, I'm trying to think. I can't remember I can't, the last I can't time Brady and Breeze played in a game. I'd have to go back yes, to the record. Yes, it wasn't that long ago. I really? Remember. Okay. Three or four years. Has it ago, been? Okay. 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 okay uh, we'll we'll then. check okay. on. Anyway, that's that's, that's going to be good. But okay, and 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 week two, it's the Saints in Las Vegas. Yeah. Against the Raiders. The very yeah. first NFL game in Las Vegas. Will it be? Yes, it will be. Will it First be regular season. Regular season. It will be. Play the exhibition. Now, what does that lead you to think? The Raiders are in the AFC West. So that means New Orleans is playing, and who do they got to play? Yeah. Yeah. 
the Super Bowl champion oh, yes, Chiefs. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. The and Chiefs. the L.A. Look, Chargers. Me, and, of course, the Raiders and it, your Denver Broncos. But it's the Chiefs. They gotta, they we gotta never talked it. really much in depth about the Chiefs, but hopefully that may be for another segment. But yeah. well, that was something well, what on. about the Saints playing on Christmas Day? Yeah. Against yeah. who? A rematch. Yeah. Minnesota Vikings. Christmas what a, Day. What a bad day. What a Christmas bad day to play. Day. What we a bad day. we got a lot of revenge well, built I mean, other than this one. It's the only what NFL a bad day. game. It's not because. Yeah. I mean, it's a Friday. Yeah, yeah. It's the only NFL game. At least it give you something besides Christmas the Day. Day. NBA uh, Christmas Day. Christmas Day. All right, so so they play. They also play the uh, NFC North. So yes. You got Aaron Rodgers coming to the. He's got a lot of people coming. And they man. got the Lions, and of course the Bears, and then the Vikings. This is Christmas Day. I tell you, game. this right. this is going to be. Going to be. A, Saints a, are loaded, that's man. That's a heck of a home schedule. Yes, that's it a heck is. Of a home schedule. So it's going to be it's going to be fun on that. And of course the NFL. Look, they released it to start on September yeah. 13th. That doesn't mean everything's going to start. No, but at least we they've hope. got a date. Got a I mean, we've got a starting date. We've got something out there. You've got to put something on paper. That's we've got right. something out All there. All right, That's we'll good. take our first break. Coming up later on in the show, we're going to have word about a hot shot quarterback recruit commitment for the LSU Tigers out of North Texas. Yeah. He's got local ties. Yeah. The name of Nussmeyer. People are still looking, baby. It's not over yet. Coming up next, pick the best Saints of all time. We're going to have fun. I have mine. Our picks of the best Saints in franchise record. Y'all will probably say that I'm being biased, though, but that's okay. All right, we'll do it offense and defense when we come back to walk-on. Stay right there. Sound Off 60 is brought to you by Walk-Ons, Bistro, and Bar, where great food, your sports, and good times roll. Stay here. The boys will be right back. For nearly 85 years, Merchants and Farmers Bank has provided dependable, personal banking for Central and Southwest Louisiana. I saw your new boat last week, Chuck. Looks like fun. We have eight convenient locations, checking and savings accounts, online bill pay, mortgage and personal loans, even a new app that allows you to take a picture of your paycheck and deposit it. Can't wait to see your kitchen remodel, Pam. Come in today to open a personal account. Merchants and Farmers, your future begins with our history. Preparing a meal, it's a lot like preparing for a game. It involves hard work, the right plan, and attention to detail. Great food, that's our passion. A taste of Louisiana, handcrafted from scratch. Walk on, because everyone needs a little playing time. Drew's favorite season? It's seafood lanyap season, only at Walk On. On or off the field, training and experience matter. As a board certified and fellowship trained surgeon, Dr. Brett Cassio has the training and experience to help you get back in the game. Award winning research, the latest orthopedic techniques, right here at home. Cassio Sports Medicine. You should know by now we're here at Walk On's home of Sound Off 60, and the patio is opening for is open for dining. It is. You come down I to Walk On. Yeah, we, we're looking it at is. it. Uh, Couldn't get uh, a much know. better day for it than uh, today. But they have the a good social distance. I'm looking at out there oh, too. Yeah. They people, are, people are still doing what they're supposed to do. As we are. The, yes. Social distancing. Yes. Hobbs, don't get too Very close. Good. To Very good. Um, Very good. Good to see that. Perfect weather. I, 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 you know, I had the family here on Sunday for Mother's Day. Yeah. Very easy. Go to the counter, place your order. Easy. They call your name, you go pick up your order at the counter, and you have a great time here at Walk On. Yeah. Full menu, by the way. Fantastic food. So keep that in mind. Uh, Walk On's patio is open for business. Yes, All right, is. are y'all ready? We're ready. We teased this last week. Here's how we're playing the game. Uh, you're going to see different position groups come up on the, on the screen. Our choice. We're going to argue back. It's going to be are. the ultimate fussing and fighting here, yeah. okay? But our picks for the best Saints by position all time. Some of them we should have. Some of them we should have. I mean, negated. We shouldn't have even had in there. Are we really going to discuss People, quarterback? Well, we have a list. <laughs> we have a list. Some of them we should have just. We got to be fair. Not even, am I right, Scooter? Some we should have just left no, off. We're, you know, we're, because we got a list. there's no discussion when it comes to some of them. Well, no. You're, you're right. Some of them are, are kind of no-brainer here. So let me get the let me get the we're ready. notes here. All right, all right. We're going to start on the offensive side, and we're going to start with the big men down front, offensive linemen. Now, yes. we didn't do this by we didn't do this by guard, you know, center. Top. 
offensive Offense. line. Offensive line. All right. Yes. So, all right, here are the finalists. Willie Rowe, mm -hmm. Saints Hall of Famer, NFL yep. Hall of Famer. Zach Street, he's in the booth, right? Mm -hmm. Stan Brock, Kyle Turley, Jim Dombrowski, mm -hmm. and Teron Armstead, who is with, yeah. who's still on the team. All yeah. right. So you're looking at, what, six guys. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, you know, we kind of narrowed it, th these things down through uh, former all-time Saints teams and my list. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I kinda, you know, Which we all list. have. Which we yeah. all have. All right. So we'll start on you, Mr. Denver I'm, It's easy, Willie. Done. Willie, um, Done. <clears throat> Done. Some positions we don't discuss, honestly. How many of them uh, are in the Hall of Fame? Scooter, he took uh -huh. my question. That was it. That was You're it, in Scooter. Hall of Fame. Yeah. Yeah. That was it, Scooter. Just one. That was right, it. I, I got who's, you. Who's in the Hall of Fame? We all agree. Willie Rowe. All right, so uh, who? Let's, let's, let's honorable let's, mention. Throw in an honorable mention. Well, I mean, who's second? I, guess I got my second. second. Stan Brock. I, I Stan go Brock. Dombrowski. Really? Good choice. Okay. Good choice. Eh. Very close. Stan Brock. Uh, okay. Honorable mention. I, I, no, I couldn't no. think about that one. Yeah. Uh, uh, Willie Rolfe, from where? Louisiana, Louisiana Tech. Tech. That's homeboy. Yeah, yeah. Willie Rolfe. All right, I'm let's Arkansas, move on. But played it's a homeboy. Tech. All right, our pick for best Saints all-time tied in. And Whoa. You got some trouble right the there now. Jeremy you got some trouble. Shockey from the U. Henry Childs, Hobie Brenner, John Tice, and Jimmy Graham. I've got a mine. very strong list. And we'll I know you guys may be in the middle. Okay, I'm going to go, I, I suppose, with Jimmy Graham. God. But you left yeah. the number two choice off of that list. Go ahead. Ben Watson. I disagree. Well. I disagree. I, well, I disagree. Scooter's got it, Rick. I looked at him. Scooter's got a I point. I looked at him. I didn't, I, not, enough, not enough years. Maybe not so. Not enough years. Maybe so. You know, not enough years. No. Maybe so. You're going you're to challenge me on the years? I'd have to go back in the record book. I can't. Well, how many did Graham play? Well, uh, seven. Mm, seven or eight. That many? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So you're saying what? Jimmy Graham. Mm. All right. Gidry. Okay. The two that I had was Shockey and Graham. But let me tell you yeah. why I'm going to go with Graham. You get a guy that converts from basketball to come in and be a tight end. That's talent. That's talent. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy Graham. Uh, that's talent, all the, man. All the touchdowns. You know, uh, Drew Brees. The proliferation of, of him in the end zone. I got a, I got a, 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 a surprising honorable mention in Hobie Brenner. Now, granted, mm -hmm. I'm kind of an old timer. Yeah. You saw many games uh, with Hobie Brenner. I didn't see many. And with him. he was with them for close to 10 years. A yeah. lot of catches. He's I didn't up see in many. the upper tier with the amount of catches. Who was, who was Not with a the whole Saints? Lot of arguing who was, so far, who was with the Saints? Coming. Doing the Super Bowl tight end. Who was with them? Uh, that, uh, that was, was Jimmy Graham. Graham. Okay. No, I think it's Jimmy Graham. Wait. See, Shaq. that's the question I that I was looking at. I thought it was Jimmy Graham. Am I right on that? I should know that. I thought it was Jimmy Graham. Running back. Huh. Here's where it gets tough. Here are the finalists. Chuck Muncie, uh, George I Rogers, don't care Tony what Galbraith, say. Dalton Hilliard, Ruben Mays, Can I go Pierre first? Thomas, Deuce McAllister, and Mark Ingram. I mean, the, the list grows a little bit, so I'm going to go first. Well, did you leave time. somebody else off, too? I that was a local so. guy? We're going to argue about the list? Let's okay. argue about who's the pick. All right, this may surprise you. This is an emotional I would pick because I just loved him as a player, his ability to catch out of the backfield. Pierre Thomas. No, that's Seven not bad, years. Rick. Pierre Thomas was number one that's, in my book. That's Mark not bad. Mark Ingram with honorable mention. Go ahead, get that's, your that's turn. Not, well, guys, come on now. Y'all going to say whatever, whatever, but there's two people I'm going to go with and be strong with, baby. Purple and gold, I bleed it. Oh, Don't hear you. Put the helmet I'm on sorry. already. Put Don't hear on. you, baby. I, I, right. I, I, I bleed it. I will not let my guys down. Don't I will not let him down. I wrote a note here. Don't, Don't hear you. A tad There's over 4,100 yards. There is I will not, with the, I will not, not let him down. I would have loved to have seen Hilliard play on better. Yeah. Yeah. He played on a few. I got Deuce and yeah. I got Hilliard. Yeah. Is, is the backup. Yeah. Wow. Pierre I Thomas. I would, I, would, I, would, I would go Pierre Thomas, honorable mention. I would. Seven Pierre, in seven Pierre years. Thomas was a class you guy. Know, interesting. Hilliard, class guy, Pierre Thomas. Mays, uh, Thomas, McAllister, and Ingram all. Seven yeah. years. All of them played yeah. seven years. You know, all yeah. of them played seven. But Thomas with only seven fumbles. All right, moving along. Receiver. <laughs> Going to argue more. John Gillum, old-timer, right? Opened up the franchise. Danny Abramowitz, one of my all-time favorites. Wes Chandler, Joe Horn, Eric Martin, Marcus Colston, and Michael Thomas. Back to you, Hob. I'm going to go Michael Thomas, even yeah. though he doesn't have the years yet. Yeah. What, yeah. three, four? Three. Uh, Entering four. I, but I still, you got you got to go with him, and I'll go with Colston second. Wow. Barely mm -hmm. over Eric Martin. Yeah. All right, I'll go. <laughs> we I, going I, it? I, we, I love we, Michael we, Thomas. Yeah. Lo I got to go. He, 
Michael Thomas. Just I mean, doesn't have the years yet. Michael Thomas. Marcus Colston. Yeah. Look at the old tape by Marcus Colston. I think he blows Michael you Thomas away. is so much better. Yeah. Well, that that you you three give, years. Him a, give him a pass. Yeah. 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 The that's obvious. My, that's my topic. The Who obvious. Do you got? The obvious is Michael Thomas. But like before, I'm going with Eric Martin because let me tell you why. Have you ever seen a guy, this one, it all started when you had big guys going across the middle, catching those 15 in routes, those 15 out routes, yeah. and taking that lick from those linebackers oh, yeah. and, yeah, and that right. safety. Now, Eric when, Martin, when Eric Martin. Martin was there, their offense oh, yeah. was built on him going across Yes, it was, Scooter. Very good. And he didn't drop many balls, guys, let's if you not, guys remember no, that now. Let's not forget about Joe Horn. Martin didn't drop many balls. Very good. All right, we got to end it. And uh, last one, quarterback. Okay. Billy Kilmer, Archie Mann, and Kenny Stabler. I threw him in because I love Kenny Stabler. <laughs> yeah. Bobby Hebert, Aaron Brooks, and Drew Brees. Back I think you, we'll take a pass. You. Hurry up. We're we'll take out. a pass on this. Come on, guys. What? Really? Drew Brees. Drew Brees. Drew Come on now. I love my Archie now. I know. I know you were going to say that. <laughs> Drew Brees. I know you were going to say that. Drew I know you were going to say Archie. Manning, Archie get an honorable mention for me. I think what Because he's a Louisiana guy. Uh, get honorable mention. Years, a little under 22,000 yards and 156 picks. Yeah. What they was, were awful, what were, awful teams. What were the longest out of awful. the quarterbacks that played there? How many years did Archie play there? Uh, 11. But Drew Brees uh, Drew? was 13. Yeah. Okay. Archie, is, okay. Archie played 11. Okay. And then you got guys like Bobby Hebert with six or seven and yeah. Aaron Brooks and that whole yeah. thing. I threw Very good list, though, Rick. Too. Very good list you put together. Hey. Very we, good list, man. We got more fighting to do. Very defense good is coming up next. I love defense Owner now. and head coach. I love defense. Owner. <laughs> oh, we got two. We're coming back to walk on. Stay right there. Sound Off 60 brought to you by Merchants and Farmers Bank. Enjoy a more reliable, responsible, intelligent, and connected indoor environment that easily adjusts to your preferences no matter where you are. Uncompromising, unmistakable, Luxair. Get connected with a Luxair dealer near you by visiting luxair.com slash solar supply. If history has taught us anything, it's that we can get through anything. And that beer sometimes helps. So Coors Light is buying. Go to at Coors Light on Twitter to send someone a six pack on us. Cause man, we could all use one right now. All right, welcome back to Walk On Sound Off 60 presented to you by Coors Light made to chill for yes. Southwest Louisiana in our scorching hot summers, which is coming up very soon. Been beautiful lately though. All right, you ready? Saints, our picks yes. for all-time greatest New Orleans Saints from the defensive side. Let's start with the big guys up front, the defensive linemen. It starts with Doug Akins and ends with Cam Jordan. You see the list at number seven or eight. You got Merlin, Derlin Moore in there and the late Will Smith and Frank Warren. We'll start back with you, Mr. Guidry. What do Will you got? Smith. Will Smith. Uh -huh. Will Smith. The late Will Smith. I'm going to go Cameron Jordan. Close call over Will Smith. Yeah. I, well, ah, Scooter. I'm agreeing more than I thought. Scooter. Yes, Will Come Smith on. number one. Scooter. And Cam Jordan, I mean, close at 1A of what uh, Jordan has been able no to do. Doubt. No uh, doubt. No doubt. You know who was also very good, who's kind of, they is, is Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson yes. was very good yes. in his time yes. on the defensive line. All right, let's get back to defensive back. Your area of expertise, Mr. Guidry. The list is long again. Tommy Myers from the olden days, Dave Waymer. Darren Sharper, who is probably still in jail, rightfully so. Oh, Tracy Porter, Malcolm Jenkins, and we threw in the young guy, Marshawn Lattimore. All right, Hub, best defensive back to wore the black. The, here's the problem. With defensive backs, you always remember when they screwed up. A lot of times you do. That's the, the only thing you do remember, <laughs> okay, because that's what I, features. I, I, just kind of a personal player. I always liked the way he played. I'm going to go Roman Harper. Yeah. No, uh, and that's what it comes down to sometimes. Yeah. You watch yeah. a guy, you just like the way he played and played every down tough. Number I can't two, argue I'd with that. Probably had uh, Malcolm Jenkins. Uh, uh, a very good choice. Who's back with the Saints? I'm going to go Tracy Porter because see, of the play. Tracy. He was good. Now he was good cover. He had but two the interception. Who, who had if you Tracy? He did. Tracy had the pick in the Super Bowl. Am I correct? Yeah. yeah. Tracy would be and on that Tracy list because Porter of that too. Honorable mention. Yeah. 
And Honorable we had him on our show. If we you did. Yes, we Honorable. did. Yes, yeah. we did. Is Mike McKenzie. Mike McKenzie, ah. honorable mention. Go ahead. Ah, okay. Mike McKenzie. Yeah. I'm solid. I'm going to go um, Malcolm Jenkins and Porter. Partly because Malcolm is coming back, and that says a lot for an organization that wants to take a player yep. back after no. leaving. Good point. Because that's a class guy. All right. Here's that's where. That's a class guy. This should be a no-brainer, but you never know. Uh, linebackers. Wait a minute. This will appear on this your screen. All-time greatest Saint linebacker. I'm, I'm going to see what you're going to say because I know what my answer is going to be. Jackson, Pat Swilling, Vaughn Johnson, Sam Mills, the late Sam Mills, and Jonathan Vilma. And what what is the core of this? The Dome Patrol. Yeah. The Dome Patrol. Four All Pros in one year out of a linebacker group. Am the I Dome out? Patrol. I think it was hot. Man, that gives uh, me that uh, was the best. I'm going Ricky Jackson. Yeah. Huh? And. Uh, over Sam Mills. Tough call. Um, I, Scooter's going Ricky Jackson because he played golf with him, okay? That's why you're no, going with him, okay? Because he played golf with him. Hall of Fame. Um, what was that? Class that guy, too, man. Class that guy. I'm, uh, I'm with Scooter. You, you want to put all four, but we only picking yep. one. No. Nope. Uh, Ricky Jackson. Ricky just, Jackson. He put the I Saints agree, on the map, man. He put the Saints on the map. Sam Mills. Yeah. Undersized middle linebacker. Just, yeah. And boy, they were all good. They Sam were all Mills good. reminded me of the guy from Chicago. The little linebacker. What's his name, Scooter? It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, uh, you always think um, I'm this. You know Mike Singletary. Mike Singletary. Mike Singletary. Mike Singletary. He reminds me of Mike yeah. Singletary, man. The eyes Plays the like him, yeah. yeah. You're right. Plays like Mike him Singletary. also. All right. Let's have some fun here. We had to throw it in an important position. Best punter in Saints history. <laughs> oh, that might be the easiest one of the Yeah, ones. I know, yeah. but. More kick is going to be easy, it, too, it, though. It, but, I, but if you, I struggled, if, I struggled to gonna type his too. name in, Russell Erkslaven. <laughs> I wanted to ask you about that. You took a guy I know. who is roundly considered one of the stupidest draft picks yep, in the history scooter. of the NFL. You shouldn't yep. have said that. A scooter. team that had never had a winning season chose a kicker in the yep. first round. I have yep. no idea. Their excuse what was... Would, he could punt and, and place and, kick. Yeah. Turned out he couldn't do either, either one. That's true. And you want to put him on yeah, this Yeah, you know list. why? That's on the because GM. Because I wanted that's to hear your diatribe. I'm the GM on that. That's the GM mistake. All right, right so, so you see the list. GM. It really is a no-brainer. No, it is. Uh, Thomas Morstead. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, he's been doing it. Gosh, he's got to be 10 years now, and he's just. No doubt. Tommy Barnhart was very good. I looked at his numbers. I agree, he, Rick. Tommy Barnhart was very, very good. I agree. All right, place kicker. Well, let's have some fun here. I think we'll all agree, but it might be interesting. Tom Dempsey, but Come on. only kicked for a few years. Yeah. The late Tom Dempsey, who recently but, passed. Morton Anderson, John yeah. Carney, Garrett Hartley. What's his claim to fame? We'll talk about that. And Will Lutz, the present kicker. All right, we're back to you, Gidry. I'm going to go with. Don't shock me now. Thomas, man. Who? Tom Dempsey? Yeah. For the kick? Yeah. Let me tell oh you why. God. But let me tell you why. One kick? One kick? But let, me, one tell kick? You why. But let, me, but let me tell you why. The Emotional way, favorite. The guy with the shoe. I, I mean, know. That's, that's different, Rick. Oh, it's with different. With the shoe, man. All time best Come on kicker. now, Scooter. Huh. With the shoe, Bailing man. Out. you got to give him credit for that. Bail him out. It's, it's Morton Anderson. It's Morton Anderson, Anderson yeah, probably. If we do this in a couple more years, we might say Lud. I know. Yeah, I know. You're right about that. Morton Anderson, all time. Yeah. All time. Who had the longest? Who had the longest? All right, all of Tom Dempsey. Okay, okay. All right, he okay. did, but he, he only okay. kicked two Who and a half longest? years. Yeah, but Morton Anderson special, for all man. the years. Morton all Anderson the was kicks. a heck of a kicker. Yes, Garrett he was. Hartley, remember, kicked him into the Super Bowl. Yeah. Remember the kick against the Vikings? Yep. He made the kick. Made That's well. a good list. Quickly in our go last 30 seconds. That's a good list, man. Top, top executive general manager, only oh, two this finalists. Be good. Jim Finks, the late Jim Finks, and Mickey Loomis. Yeah. I go Finks. What? Just my interviews. What? That I, I had a okay. few interviews with him. Okay, you know him, then you had a chance to talk to him. What a guy. Well, all time, one of the, he should be in the Hall of Fame. I would think he would yeah. be. Yeah. Uh, no, Mickey Loomis. Loomis? Yeah, yeah. I'm going I mean, with Loomis. Okay. Going all right, owner. Don't forget. What? There's only one. Built the team. He did. That no. was the first good team the he Saints did. ever had. He did. Well, but For Loomis put it yeah. in the Super Bowl. All right. Yeah. Owner, Meekum and Benson, the late. Oh, gee. Come on now, really? <laughs> All right, Tom Benson. Really? Kind of wins by default, really? but he wins. Yeah. All right, some, some we shouldn't coach. have even discussed. You see the list on your screen. Bum, Jim Moore, Jim Haslick, Sean Payton. Is there an argument? Sean no. Payton is my guy, man. Sean Payton's my guy. Playoffs? Playoffs? Sean, playoff. Sean Payton's my guy. Sean Payton Payton's is it, but Jim Mora gets honorable mention. Honorable mention, if Jim Mora. just for the quote. All right, that honorable was fun. Mention. Next week, this same was good. deal, all-time LSU. Diddly, you don't know diddly poo. I don't know diddly, yeah. don't know diddly poo, this but I'm going to work my way through LSU. All right, take a break. We're coming back to Waffle. Stay right there.
Preparing a meal, it's a lot like preparing for a game. It involves hard work, the right plan, and attention to detail. Great food, that's our passion. A taste of Louisiana, handcrafted from scratch. Walk on, because everyone needs a little playing time. Drew's favorite season? It's seafood lanyard season, only at walk on for nearly 85 years, Merchants and Farmers Bank has provided dependable, personal banking for Central and Southwest Louisiana. I saw your new boat last week, Chuck. Looks like fun. We have eight convenient locations, checking and savings accounts, online bill pay, mortgage and personal loans, even a new app that allows you to take a picture of your paycheck and deposit it. Can't wait to see your kitchen remodel, Pam. Come in today to open a personal account. Merchants and Farmers, your future begins with our history. All right, welcome back to Walk Ons and Sound Off 6. We want to welcome in an old friend of ours, former Yankees, Cubs, and McNeese Cowboy pitcher Ray Fontenot has joined us. Been a while, my friend. It's Glad been a while. to have you back. How you feeling? How's the family? Hey, everybody's good. We're above ground. Everybody's healthy. Excellent. Working hard and chasing grandkids. E excellent. Excellent. All right. Um, you've been out. Of, you've been out of baseball a long time. Yep. Over the years, I mean, maybe the first two or three years after, whatever time frame you want to put on. Any, there was no inkling to get into the game, be it minor league and then work your way up or coaching, college, maybe even get back into majors through the system? You know, I, when my time was up, you know, it ended short because of an injury. Yeah. You know, sometimes you wish you could have ended because of you course. couldn't yeah. cut it anymore, but yeah. it got cut short. I had a, a, a newborn and I had a two-year-old and, man, I just never really thought about going in and into the game you got to start <laughs> raising a family yeah. and leaving it behind and yeah, there were some times every now and then you'd say man i wonder if i ought to go i knew still knew the guys yeah. in there the coaches and stuff but for the most part i was happy with putting it behind me and looking ahead and where, where did you when, when you got out of the when you got out of a plan it was you settled back down in, in, in yes the Louisiana? Came right okay yeah, i never was one to kind of go back when the season was over i was right back in lake charles good for you, good for you. <laughs> too much hunting and fishing yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yankees and Cubs, you, you got you did your major league debut with the Yankees, and then when you moved to Nashville, all right, that's that's two pretty heady ballparks. What was it like? Did 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 it hit home with you the first time you took the mound in Yankee Stadium or in Wrigley Field? <laughs> it did, but I think you you kind of got geared at, at at spring training, and and not to say I was cool as a cucumber. Yeah, I was nervous. You couldn't pull a grease needle out of me for a while, but <laughs> yeah, you kind of got used to it in spring training. And my first, you know, I guess nervousness came when they first called me up. And it was kind of a funny story is that they, they told me the night after a triple-A game, hey, you're going up mm -hmm. the next morning. Yeah. So we went out, Don Mattingly and um, Otis Nixon and our wives went and had dinner. and They were on the triple-A team yeah. with you? Yeah. And we um, had a little bit too much fun. And next morning, okay. we'll, Next morning, I woke up, needed a Tylenol. Well, uh -huh. guess what? Where were you? In Columbus, Ohio. Okay. That was a AAA. So I asked my wife to go get it. She comes back in the room and she says, Ray, the truck's not there. I went, golly, I go get it myself. And I went downstairs. Somebody had stolen my truck. The Your morning, truck's not there. Okay. Still, and then to make things worse, after they write the report, I get a phone call from Johnny Oates saying, hey, the deal for Doyle Alexander fell through. So all those getting ramped up and all yeah. happy yeah. ended up with a big downer. <laughs> so by the time they did call me up, it was like, are they going to call me back down? Yeah, gonna, yeah. Is, is it going to be a fake or not? And so, all, all, all your truck gets stolen. Yes. Yeah. Did they find the truck? Yes, they oh. found the rear axle with the huge oh, on and a chop shop. My but God. another a teammate had, had his stolen the, uh, about a week before. Ben Callahan, yeah. they did the same thing with him. So yeah, so that nervousness, I think like I think it all got through me early on. Yeah, yeah. help me out here. Uh, Hobbs mentioned the Yankees, Yankee Stadium. You overlapped with your buddy out of Lafayette, Ron Gideon. Yes. Did you not for uh, the two time years. you were there? Yeah. Two years. That had to be pretty cool. Two guys from the uh, South Louisiana from the Bayous. Yeah, they had a lot of fun with it. I'm sure they did. <laughs> they had a lot of fun with it. You know, we could speak in French a little bit between yeah. each other. And yeah. Who had the thicker understand. accent? I think probably Gidry a little bit then, huh? He had a thicker accent, but he couldn't speak French okay. all the way. <laughs> I could. You had him being there. I was there. fluent. Yeah, yeah. How, what, what, was that, what was that like, you, you guys playing there? It was not. It was good. It, it was, he had somebody, the older guy that was there, and, and kind of 
spent a long time in the minor leagues, and he, when he got up there with the success, he was able to get you to calm down a little mm -hmm. bit, do your bit, and uh, mm -hmm. it was very helpful and it was friendly. Our wife, it was nice to have my yeah. wife to yeah. have someone as a 22-year-old mom with a with a six-month-old baby yeah. up in New York City to help yeah. out and kind of help the road. I wanted to ask about that. Uh, I think more so. I mean, you're you know. Uh, the, South Louisiana guy. The next thing you know, you're not only pitching for the Yankees, you got to live in New York City. Yeah. Well, I mean, what part of New York did you live in? What was it like going to the ballpark every day? What was what was the routine? We rented Bucky Dent's house out in Wyckoff, New Jersey, because Bucky Dent had left to go to Texas, mm -hmm. and um, he gave a it was a good deal. He had a couple of vehicles in the driveway he wanted driven, so that was nice. So we didn't have to bring vehicles up there, but it was always a long drive. You had yeah. an hour and 45 minutes to, to if you if you left on time, you yeah. were lucky to get there in an hour and yeah. 45 minutes. But from there to Yankee yeah, Stadium, from you're there to, yeah, about? Uh, there was very few that actually lived in the in the um, in the city. But of course, Dave Rigetti was not your normal left-hander either, mm -hmm. and he lived in the Bronx, and he loved it. <laughs> he took an apartment right in the middle of it, so yeah. it was pretty cool. Gray Fontenot, former Major League pitcher and former uh, uh, McNeese Cowboy pitcher as well, joining us here on Sound Off 60. It's been, been a while since you've been on the show with us. Talk about your days in the Major Leagues. Uh, later on, he's going to hang with us for an extra segment. We'll talk about the return of baseball from a player's perspective and with this unusual circumstance we're going through right now with the pandemic, and yes, we're going to get his thoughts on the Houston Astros cheating oh, oh, scandal yeah. a little bit later on in the next segment. Back to some playing days. You hear the old timers. I'm not calling you an old timer, but you hear that. Oh, the game was this in my day and that. The football, the, the baseball guys. You know, I look at the game today. It's, it's, it's a tough game, but a lot has changed. When you watch it, if you go to a game and you watch it even primarily on TV, do you see a distinct difference in how the game is played? For either from your position as a pitcher or infield, outfield, what? I guess the biggest thing right now, I, I talked to some of the old coaches that I, that I played for before. A lot of them have just left the game. They said it's all analytics, it's all mm -hmm. angles yeah. and analytics. But if you're watching the game, I guess the biggest thing is the way they shift. And, and that's I mean, fairly recent. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy. only the last, what, two or three years maybe sure. that this shift. And I mean, it annoys me, too. I don't know what the answer is, but I know it annoys me. The other thing is just how temperamental these hitters are for getting mm -hmm. hitting the ribs. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's not a big deal. Not it's a big part deal. part of the game. <laughs> well, you're, that's coming from you. Well, it's part of the game. It's part right? of the game. Okay. Um, do you support, even this day and age, where the belief is these guys, I don't know. I mean, you, you would be more the expert. They're bigger, stronger. I mean, of, of throwing at guys to test them, maybe throw inside. Is that still part of the game, and should it be part of the game? It is part of the game. Okay. This is my side of the plate. This is your side of the plate. Mm -hmm. You get on mine. If you get hit in the arm, mm -hmm. that's, I'm doing my job because you were leaning over. Right. Now, the bit of, I was never one to, although I led the league in 84 and hit batsmen, I was a control pitcher, but it was mainly mm -hmm. because I was throwing inside and they were mm -hmm. leaning out over the mm -hmm. plate. Mm -hmm. But, hey, if a guy hits a home run, that he did his job and you didn't do your job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you go in there with your spikes up high on my second baseman, that's not doing your job. Uh -huh. I'll okay. do my job for okay. my player. All right. And my teammates always knew that I was going to be there yeah. on the mound to, to have their back. <coughs> but okay. right now, just to throw, to throw at somebody is, is chicken. But I got a feeling, and we'll probably talk about it later. Yes, we will. Um, there's going to be it's coming, some it? players that know the dirt very well. It's coming. This year. All right, real, real quick before we get through, because Kevin will be here next segment. <laughs> uh, other than Yankee Stadium and Wrigley, the, your home ballpark, what was the most exciting stadium you thought uh, to pitch in? Wrigley Field was, you know, by far the nicest one as far you know in Yankee Stadium. But Fenway Park, they're right on top of you. Mm. Yeah. Um, one of the prettiest stadiums, the nicest stadiums, was always in San Diego. It was a, it's really? a great place. Yeah. I guess one of, to me, the most, one of the most boring ones was the Dodger Stadium. And it's fame, really? but, but the, one of the nicest stadiums to play at was San Diego, I think. Hmm. Okay. All right. Ray Fontenot, former Major League pitcher. Hi. Quickly, Magnese Cowboys, the resurgence of Cowboy baseball under Justin Hill. I it's see awesome. he's, done, yeah, he's done some great things. Yeah. Doing, done, doing yeah. really good. He's, he's kind of got the support 
So mm -hmm. I think a lot of the coaches in the past, he went after the support. You know, good teams bring support. But yeah. sometimes you just need to have the right person yeah. out there. I think uh, I think Terry Burrow started up getting mm -hmm. the support as a local guy, and I think mm -hmm. Justin Hill has taken the. Who, who was the, who was the coach at Utah? Hubert Bowles, coach. Hubert Bowles. Bowles for two years, and then Johnny Sidem. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll leave it at that. Plenty uh, of stories. We'll, I'm sure you do. All right, we'll take a short pause. We're coming back to walk on more with Ray Fontenot when we return. Stay right there. If history has taught us anything, it's that we can get through anything, and that beer sometimes helps. So Coors Light is buying. Go to at Coors Light on Twitter to send someone a six pack on us. Cause man, we could all use one right now. On or off the field, training and experience matter. As a board certified and fellowship trained surgeon, Dr. Brett Cassio has the training and experience to help you get back in the game. Award winning research the latest orthopedic techniques right here at home. Casio Sports Medicine. For nearly 85 years, Merchants and Farmers Bank has provided dependable personal banking for Central and Southwest Louisiana. I saw your new boat last week, Chuck. Looks like fun. We have eight convenient locations, checking and savings accounts, online bill pay, mortgage and personal loans, even a new app that allows you to take a picture of your paycheck and deposit it. I can't wait to see your kitchen remodel, Pam. Come in today to open a personal account. Merchants and Farmers, your future begins with our history. Enjoy a more reliable, responsible, intelligent, and connected indoor environment that easily adjusts to your preferences, no matter where you are. Uncompromising, unmistakable, Luxair. Get connected with a Luxair dealer near you by visiting luxair.com slash solar supply. Preparing a meal. It's a lot like preparing for a game. It involves hard work, the right plan, and attention to detail. Great food, that's our passion. A taste of Louisiana, handcrafted from scratch. Walk on, because everyone needs a little playing time. Drew's favorite season? It's seafood lanyard season, only at Walk On. All right, welcome back to Walk On Sound Off 60, presented to you by Solar Supply and Lux yes. Air, air conditioning and heating units. We want to welcome back Ray Fontenot, former pitcher for the New York Yankees, Chicago Cubs, throwing a little Minnesota Twins in there as well, and the McNeese State Cowboys uh, having some good conversation at baseball. We went down a little memory lane. That was fun. Let's shift it to where we are now in the Major League. Mm -hmm. A lot is being said about the game needs to change with the times. Mm -hmm. Baseball is, boy, it can be entrenched in the traditions of the game. And a lot of that, Ray, centers on the time it takes to get the ball out of the dead gum pitcher's hands to the plate. Speed the game along. Agree or disagree? Agree. Really? Speed the game. Speed the game up. Okay, I'm a little we, surprised uh, to hear that. There was a lot of people that, when I pitch, you know, I like to get the ball, I like to get on the mound. Yeah. Don't let the hitter have so much time to dig in, think about what you're doing. So you were more of a speed hitter. You were a tempo guy. Yes, you I, I, I like okay. the tempo. I like, okay. you know, there were a lot of guys that just, I mean, that you knew when you were going to pitch against a certain pitcher yeah. that it was going to be a three-hour game. Yeah. You knew some yeah. guys it was going to be, you know, a, a two-and-a-half-hour game yeah. because throw strikes, get the ball, throw mm -hmm. strikes, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, the tempo of the game needs to be gone. They used to just, they went, there was a time when they would tell you on the, you know, the timeout, the TV timeout, mm -hmm. that just aggravated oh, a lot yeah. of people, yeah. especially when you're in a groove and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, I think the tempo needs to speed up on the game. You know, I'm not real sure about this um, instant replay. Mm -hmm. I'm not a real big fan. I think yeah. it's, the game is all about human error, whether it's the player making You're going to make it. Mm -hmm. The player making the, st the mistake, the coach making a mistake, mm -hmm. umpires have a right to make a yeah, mistake. Yeah, but Ray, some of that, some of that, some of that, the, the, the tempo is the hitters, too. Sure. Constantly stepping out of the box. Constantly, yeah. you know, doing the belt, doing the groin. Fixing doing the elbow the, pads, all that. Doing the, or undoing the double yeah. on the gloves. Constantly yeah. doing yeah. that. So it's, it's a combination of, of, of but you, overall, you want the game to move at a higher pace. Sure. There were always ways to make the hitter get yeah. A little quicker. Yeah. yeah. Like There's it. always ways. I like the idea. Hey, uh -oh. that's good. Wait, one, one of the questions, man, that I've always wanted to ask, man, that you see it 
when, when a ball is hit in the outfield and a fan reaches over to try and make the catch and interferes with the player itself, what, what, what's, what's, the, what's the line in between that to where the player can have a better chance at catching the ball to keep it from being a home run? You know what I'm saying when well, I say that? Well, if they were That's catching, been one of the biggest. Were, if they were catching mine in Wrigley Field, I'm all for it. If it did hit that net yeah. that's yeah. about that far from the wall. How, right. how can a player better benefit from that than a fan reaching over and interfering with, with him trying to catch hey, a fly ball? You can't, you cannot dictate to fans really? that have had a few beers that are wow. they want, that they want mm -hmm. a, a, the ball. You it, know it, that's it, cost it, some games. It penalized, yeah. yes, it penalized the team mm -hmm. and, uh, that's just the fact of the game. It's just it's, that's just self restraint on the on the on the the fans. Wow. Part. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's really. I, I agree. I agree. That's um, unless they're catching my home. Yeah. Unless they're unless they're in your day. <laughs> right. um, boy, 162 games in this day and age. It's a lot. It's a lot. All right. If if you were commissioner, would, would you would you attract that first, or leave it? 162 games in 180 days is the way baseball's always yeah. been played. Yeah. yeah. I mean that's. But then you get four and a half months off in the winter time. Okay. So hey, let's play. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Let's so play. the strain. But, but but some of some of the uh, you know devil's advocate or think it's it's a money thing, because uh, baseball teams make a lot of money on local television. I mean the big markets: New York, Chicago, L.A., even Cincinnati make a lot of money on local TV. It's programming. It's content. Yeah. They sure. want a lot of games because it, er, it still earns them a fair amount of money. But from a player perspective, is it too many? I don't know. So. Okay. Well, most what, players, look, are, you know, most players. This now, is from a pitcher now, who a catcher, pitched every five games, yeah. though. Yeah, this is exactly. Exactly. Okay. Now, a catcher that's sitting back there for 162 games, <laughs> yeah. he might say, yeah. Yeah, it's too much. Yeah. It's too but much. But everyday players, I think they just, you want to get out there and yeah. play. Yeah. You sit out two or three days, or you, 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 I don't know. 162 games in 180 days is, is the yeah. ticket. It's always yeah. been. Now, this year, it's going to be a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I think they just announced that. They're going to maybe start up again on 4th of July, mm -hmm. and it'll be without the fans, mm -hmm. and they're going to drop it down to an 81-season game mm -hmm. uh, for the time being. So, I mean, let Well, let's rip. go there. Let's go there, right? Uh, let, let, I'll let you in there, Kevin. Okay. Um, from a, how much time would the players need? I mean, they didn't even open in spring, did they not? I mean, I can't. No, maybe some pitchers they didn't even, they didn't even start. But, look, these guys have been working out. Yeah. yeah, these guys all have a workout facility, especially now. Special trainers too. Especially, mm -hmm. and they have their trainers, and they're going around and they're keeping themselves. And now, yeah, they want to get used to seeing live hitters, yeah. and the batters want to see live pitchers. Mm -hmm. It's not going to take them a long time. They'll be they'll be in yeah. shape, player shape, because they were in player shape when they shut it yeah. down. They'll be in player shape. It's just a matter of how they decide to. Um, okay to divvy up the season, you know, okay. and they're going to shorten it up. And I guess one of the first ways yeah. to do it is just cut out the interleague out, games. Yeah. yeah. Just cut the interleague games out, and you can cut the season down pretty good right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. So I don't know how they're going to do it. Wait, one of the biggest questions I know that's been probably talked about, and it seems like it's almost going away now, is with the Astros, with all what's happened with the cheating scandal and all of this with the players and stuff and all that. How, as a pitcher, Ray, how, how would you take that? If you've got somebody in the dugout calling your pitch, beating on something, or beating on the trash can, as a player, how does that make you feel? First of all, it's not going away. <laughs> it's okay. Not, it's not going away, and okay. it will not go away, no matter how long this coronavirus lasts. You're talking uh, about the scandal. The scandal. Yeah, the scandal. Oh, yeah. I, agree. Okay. I agree. The memory, it shouldn't. The it memory shouldn't. It no, it, I don't think it. I hope it doesn't. Look, it was always part of the game. Yeah. If you had a, if your catcher was showing your signs, there was somebody there on each coach on the base to look at that. Right. If you were tipping your pitches, there was always someone in the dugout from the other team looking to tip your pitch. Right. Very seldom did, in fact, not that I can remember, did they relay that to the hitter. Wow. Unless you were on second base. Right. And you stole the, the, the catcher's signs. And then it was always a look this way for a breaking ball mm -hmm. or a look forward like this for a fastball. But you had to be really, really lapsed. Wow. Lax to be able to get your sign stolen. Now we had cameras on us, so our own people were looking at every one of our pitches mm -hmm. on everything to say you're tipping your, your curb, you're hmm. tipping your change. Right, up. right. But to do even it even in with, your day, oh wow. yeah, it was really? part, but that was, it was cameras it, were yeah, they were you, it you, was you could physical. See. No, it was the, it was our own personal yeah, yeah, cameras I got you. Right. Okay. just that was filming at you. you pitch okay. right. for your benefit. But to have it from outside technology being it relayed and then turned and around on every yeah. pitch 
that's a no, and that's not going, that's not going away. And people wow. are going, to, you're going to see, they might as well just get boxing gloves out and give wow. them to, give them to right. the umpire, put them in his back pocket. Wow. What is going to be when they get back on the field, the Houston Astros, what can they expect? Not pretty. Uh, <laughs> I mean, a lot of time has gone not by. Not pretty. And, and a lot of pitchers have long memories. And they do. Elements, you know? yeah. so I think, I think just, a Clayton Kershaw. I think a Clayton Kershaw and the Dodgers. I, I mean, the guy has had a postseason you, when nightmare. When you think about it, right, a couple fastballs might be a little bit uncontrollable by the pitchers, you think? Sure. It, it may get away from them. Decide a game. It may Look, get away from them, right. maybe, they're by gonna, accident. They're going to give warnings right off the I bat. Bet they will. They're going to warn you right off the bat. There are going to be a lot of pitchers thrown out. There'll be a lot of managers thrown out, but they will get the point across Let you that know. what they did yeah. was not proper. Would you do it? Wow. Right. Would you throw at him? That's a good question, Vic. Wow. Only if I was on the mound. Okay. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, you're on the mound. Yeah, you're you would. on the mound, right? Yeah. You're on the mound. It's, it's, would you throw at one of them? It's a part of the game. Part of the game. But if you transport yourself into 2017, 18, and 19, and now 20, that's still going across. It's still crossing the line, man, is it not? The umpire, what they tough, the umpire still warned us on retaliation. Yeah. yeah. You still had to go out there and have your players back, no matter yeah. what it cost wow. you. I got thrown out a few times yeah. for it, uh, fine yeah. for it. Normally, the team wow. would pay your fine, but yeah. Yeah. for the most part, these pitchers that you know, when you sit there and you watch a guy throwing 97 miles an hour, and he breaks off a darn 74 mile an hour hook on you, and mm -hmm. you stay back like you knew. Yeah. I told my wife. They know what's coming, and this was before anything wow. broke. I'd say there's no yeah. way you lay off of that with a guy throwing 97. Yeah. Wow. And then him throw a 97-mile-an-hour fastball up in their face and then get on top of a ball after seeing an 84-mile-an-hour break. Oh, there's no way. You Ray, Ray Fontenot is wow, with us, former Ray. Major League pitcher, talking about the Houston Astros cheating scandal. Were you surprised when, when Manfred, the commissioner, came out and had no, no, no penalties against any of the players? None. No. You weren't surprised? surprised. No. Do you agree with that? I think it was something that was, if, if the team knew it, it should have been the, the fines. It, that's just me personally, the fines yeah. on the team itself. But not the players? How do you back up? How do you, you know, how do you know that he uh, knew that play at, I, at am that Am I time? crazy? Am I crazy in my statement that they should have the World Series title strip? Am I crazy to say that? I, I really don't have an opinion on really? that. Okay. I, I really, wow. and truly uh, think. I know, it's, I know it's a reach. Yeah. I know yeah. it's a reach. It, it's, 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 I guess when you say that, Rick, what do you have to actually back that up to say this is evidence that we know? Uh, player, players, well, players' testimony. Yeah. Several of the yeah. Houston Astros said we did well, this. All well, right, in our last set, go ahead, go ahead. Well, that home run, how can you prove that he knew it was coming on that pitch? Well, and that he wouldn't have been sitting yeah. on it. Okay, all right. Valid, valid, but boy, they knew. That's a they good knew. point, right. though. Right? They knew. Uh, in our final couple of seconds here, you were of the era where they had some characters as managers. I mean, some of the names pop into my head. Now they seem, a lot of the managers are kind of, you know, vanilla. Kind of lax. But kinda in just your day and age, man, they were crazy. They had some craziness. Yeah. Yeah. Bill, <laughs> Bill, Billy Martin. Yeah, okay, that one comes to mind. <laughs> Who was the manager? Earl Weaver. Yeah. Earl Weaver yeah. just, he was going to have a heart attack every time he got out of yeah. the field. Billy well, Martin, one story well, about they, Billy Martin. Billy would just come out on the field and say, come on, Fontenot, no, you're cutting into our beer yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> Even though you were pitching fast. Yeah. Hey, come on, you're cutting <laughs> yeah. in, Get yeah. this guy out. You're cutting into my beer time. Yeah. You know? and yeah. it, good guy, though. Right? Good guy. Yeah. He was one right other, behind you. One other question I got to get Ray in. Ray, when you talk about McGuire and Barry Bonds, those guys knocking all those home runs out the park and stuff, and they went back later to say that it was steroids that was involved. Let me ask you this question as a pitcher. If a guy is on steroids, does he not still have to hit that ball no matter what you pitch him? He still has to have the, the hand and eye contact to make that. But the steroids give you a little, make you a little quicker, uh -huh. they, mm -hmm. a little more you. strength. Some people that get jammed, get a little you. more strength. But, no, you still have to have the, the hand-eye contact to make contact. And that's what my, one of my arguments, and you just helped answer that for okay. me, and I appreciate that. Yeah. Because you still got to hit the ball. Yep. I don't care if you're on steroids, you, you still got to hit the ball. You have been a defender of the steroid guys because you just got off the juice last week. No. So. <laughs> that is a false statement. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ray Fontenot, we Good appreciate to have you, Ray. Stay Thank healthy. You. Best, best wishes Always, to the family. Ray. Ray cool. Fontenot from here. the Magnus Cowboys, Yankees, Cubs, and Twins. So we're going to throw the Twins the in here to give them a little respect. All right, we're coming back to wrap it up here at Walk On. Stay right here.
You can count carbs, you can count calories, but it only counts if the beer tastes good. Introducing St. Archer Gold, the ultimate light beer with 95 calories and 2.6 grams of carbs. St. Archer Gold. For nearly 85 years, Merchants and Farmers Bank has provided dependable, personal banking for Central and Southwest Louisiana. I saw your new boat last week, Chuck. Looks like fun. We have eight convenient locations, checking and savings accounts, online bill pay, mortgage and personal loans, even a new app that allows you to take a picture of your paycheck and deposit it. Can't wait to see your kitchen remodel, Pam. Come in today to open a personal account. Merchants and Farmers, your future begins with our history. You can count carbs, you can count calories, but it only counts if the beer tastes good. Introducing St. Archer Gold, the ultimate light beer with 95 calories and 2.6 grams of carbs. St. Archer Gold. All right, welcome back to the show. Many thanks to uh, Ray Fontenot, yes. uh, former Yankee Mitch Cubs Mitch and Mitch twin Mitch. pitcher. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, we, we tease a lot about, I, I say that a lot, Bruce Springsteen and Glory Days, especially with the baseball guys. It's fun going back. It is. Because the game has changed a lot, and, yeah. and, and it's gone through so many cycles. You follow the Major League much closer than, than Kevin and I. Scooter's our the, baseball the, guy. The, the, the eras of baseball and the characters of baseball. He mentioned the late Billy Martin and yeah. Earl Weaver from the, mm -hmm. from the managerial standpoint. It's, it's fun. And, and off camera, what did he say about your question about toughest hitter? Uh, Jim Rice. Yeah. Jim the way Rice. Jim Rice would go to right field on him. Slap all anything the time. he threw around. Wow. And uh, left-hander, he said George Brett. Yeah, old Kansas City Royal. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I wish I had to ask him. All right, those are two uh, big, big names. Yeah. yeah. Who's the guy we probably never heard of yeah. that drove you crazy? Yeah, you know? yeah. That, yeah. Some That's guys, true, too. Some guys, like you maybe in your football day, you just maybe couldn't cover that XYZ guy. Oh, God. And maybe a guy pitcher just can't. Just can't get a guy. He's just, out. you know, they say he's he's got your number. He's There's got nothing your number. you can do about it. You yeah. just gotta he, he, deal he, with it. Yeah. You yeah. know. All right, guys. Um, my, the, the Michael Jordan Chicago Bulls. Oh my God, I'm I loving this man. I was out of man. town. I missed it. Man. What did I miss? Oh, oh God. you missed uh, well, the Jordan playing baseball. Yeah. All oh, the baseball part yeah, of it. Yeah, that was some ironically. You enough. know, a lot of people. Most of that stuff it seemed like I'd heard before. Yeah. That, that's been so yeah. well chronicled. Yeah. Yeah. And but. and and a lot of people in, in the misconception. I'm glad Michael and it kind of upset him, man. When people started talking about his gambling, all the money this dude has. Come on, seriously, seriously, guys. He's got a gambling problem. Seriously. And, and that kind of upset him, man, yeah. for the fact that they related that to his dad's death. Yeah. Come death, on, man. That's, that's, that's a low blow. It, it, that's a low blow, You're always going to have theories. I, I don't know. What, I, don't, I don't remember the case. I don't have Well, they probably always going to have a the conspiracy guys that theory. Did it, they was after his ring is what it yeah. was. Conspiracy I mean, all of, theory. All of anyway, that was. Uh, we're obviously worth watching. Proven. I'll have to, I'll have to oh, yeah. catch up on it. I'll have to yeah. catch up on it. That's I, that. It's still annoying the way the timeline. I know, school. Huh? How they I, go back. And uh, people it, look it, down and say, it just, well, that's the way documentaries are. I don't remember uh, documentaries <laughs> like that. No, no. I watch a lot yeah. of World War II documentaries. <laughs> yeah. You know, they don't. It, it, it gets know, to like me, too, the, the way they go Pearl back. Harbor, you yeah. have D-Day. Yeah, yeah, okay, you, you know? like the chronological order. Yeah, it yeah. gets to me, too, Scooter. I'm with you. It does. But still, it does. magnificent it's television. Yeah. To hear it from and the guy, oh, even after but all these years. Michael, with By the way, speaking of documentaries, you know, you guys are on Wednesday night, I believe, 6.30, an hour-long special behind the scenes of LSU wow. championship football season. Oh, that's going to be good. Of, this, the, of 2019. Yeah, on the yeah, SEC that's gonna network. That's going to be good. Uh, on what day? Should, uh, this Wednesday. Week, Wednesday. Oh, I've got to watch that. Out of that's the, a must-watch, definitely. Of the SEC network. Must watch. Right. Now that we're plugging, don't forget, this show can be seen on CBS Lake Charles yes. Tuesday nights, Thursday night at 10.05. Yes. The hour-long show Saturday <coughs> night at 11 o'clock. Please watch hour us. version Saturday nights at 6.30. Turn us on. And, of course, nightly on Southern Link Cable Channel 4 every night of the week at 9 o'clock. You can catch yes. the show if you missed any part of this or the interview with yes. the segments with Ray Fontenot. Fun, fun time with him. All right. Um, 
LSU picked up a football recruit. Speaking of LSU football, let's talk a little bit about quarterbacks. Uh, mm -hmm. Garrett Nussmeyer out of Marcus, Texas. Yeah. Uh, the high school, if you want to go on, it's Flower Mound High School. They were 11-2 mm -hmm. last year. He threw for over 3,800 yards, 38 touchdowns. Close to 4,000. Close to 4,000 yards. 6'2", about 215. Highly, highly rated pro-style quarterback. He's That's committed good. early. He's supposed to graduate early and enter LSU in the spring of 2021. Son of Doug Musmeyer, Doug Musmeyer, who played for the Saints, Colts, and yeah. Vikings, kind of a journeyman, yeah. who's currently the quarterback coach for the Dallas Cowboys yeah. uh, up north. Born and raised in Lake Charles. I Scooter did knows raised. Born. Scooter born. You're right. Born. 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 Scooter, Born Scooter has Charles. ties. Garrett, Scooter knows his him. Son. Yeah. Tell us a little bit he. about him. Well, you said you knew you know him, right? Well, I'm Tell us a little bit about his wife, his mom. Time. I think her name is Christy. Is yeah, from here, right? From okay. Here. From here. And, uh, okay. I mean, I met Doug a few times when mm -hmm. he was living here, mm -hmm. and if I remember, I mean, uh, the Garrett is right-handed, but Doug was a left-hander. Uh, you got a better memory than me. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. But no, I don't claim to know him, but I do remember when he was with the Saints and living mm -hmm. here in the off-season. I mm -hmm. guess it was. Yeah. You know, I met him a few yeah. times. But one uh, of the sidebars of this, Kevin. Okay, all of this kid's a highly ranked out of Texas. You know, me, high school football me. in Texas. There are some other, there's some other top name, uh, dual threat and pro style quarterback recruits that still have LSU on their top three. A kid out of California, yeah. and another one out of South Texas, out of Katy, that have not ruled LSU off. Look, they're saying their public statement is, "Let me, we welcome the competition." Let me say we this: we may be coming to. It's a little different, guys. Quarterbacks falling over themselves to get the LSU. I know. <laughs> I know. Let me tell you something: when you win an NC. Things change, baby. National championship. Well, things, when a quarterback things change. Wins the Heisman thing. My point, yeah. Scooter. Yeah. People start to look like, whoa, what do they have at LSU? They, yeah. Things are looking pretty good over there. Let, Boy, let me check it out. It's feast or famine. I mean, Miles Brennan in 2021 He's gonna have will some be competition, a senior. Rick. Will He's be a gonna senior. have some competition. Uh, I'm you've got you. still no yeah. word on this. What's the word? It's on this Peter Parrish. Is he out of the doghouse? What's the I do not know. Don't know. Uh, with with the pandemic, nobody knows anything. Yeah. Uh, and they still, of course, they got the young guys out of Georgia. Um, you know, uh, you know, uh, the son of the former uh, quarterback, uh, Brad Johnson, coming. Yeah. So, I mean, a lot of talent. Yeah. Feast and it, famine. And the thing point. about it, Rick, when you look at it, and we've talked about it before on the show, it's win now. You can't grow a guy from a freshman up to wanting to be a senior or a junior quarterback. Those days are gone. Those well, days are know gone. What happens you want with to win now. As we saw this week, too. Yes. You know, you, you get as many as you can. and. That's right, that Scooter. Transfer portal That's right, there. Scooter. It's open. For, for Alabama. That's Alabama right, has man. lost the younger now. brother of Tua. Uh, the Tagliavoa, the younger Tagliavoa, is is entering the transfer yeah. portal and leaving, reportedly leaving yeah. Alabama. So you're right. Stockpile them. It is. It does. See where the chips See what fall. you got. There you go. All right. Hey, great having you aboard. Gidry in the Bronco Always. Orange. Hobbs with the Texas like University the, of like Texas, Texas University Custodian shirt. Lime Green. <laughs> I don't know. I'm boring over here in my baby blue. I like it. I like it, Thanks Scooter. for being here. Stay safe, yes. everybody. We'll see you next time. Sound Off 60 airs on Suddenly Cable Channel 4, Monday through Sunday nights at 9. Post your questions and comments for the guys and access our website and our great advertising partners at soundoff60tv.com.